بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم start by praising Allah Azza wa Jal because Allah Azza wa Jal is the one who is most worthy of praise. My dear respected brothers, the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is facing hardships, is facing trials and tribulations. I think it's fair to say maybe like never before. The Muslims today have been dishonored, disgraced, humiliated, belittled, and the enemies of Allah have no fear towards us. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, in an amazing hadith, predicted this time. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam sat with his sahaba. And he says to them that there will come a time in this ummah where invitation will be made like how invitation is made for dinner. And he says the example of the Muslims of that time will be the example of food. The enemies of Allah will come to dinner and the Muslims will be like food laid there on the dinner table. Why did Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam use the example of food? Because food does not offer resistance. Have you ever picked up a piece of chicken and the chicken fought back? Did you ever come to eat some curry and the curry wanted to punch on? It submits its food. Do as you please and the food will do nothing. This is the example that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam gave the ummah. So this was a hard and a very bitter pill for the sahaba to swallow. So one sahaba, yani, he, he couldn't hold himself. He said to me, Ya Rasulullah, will we be so little in number? that we will come to this. Already Badr, we were 313, they were 1,000. Victory belonged to us. The battle of Mu'tah, we were 3,000. They were 200,000. And victory belonged to us. O oh, Nabi of Allah, will we be so few in number? He says to them, no, my Sahaba, you will be millions. In fact, the example he uses is like the froth of the sea. So now the companions are amazed. How did this Ummah come to this? How did we come from one month's distance? Their hearts would tremor with our fear. <laughs> to the example of Rasulullah you'll be like food on a tray. My brothers, listen and listen carefully. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with this deen. <laughs> and he came with a way and a system that if this Ummah was to follow it, from today till Qiyamah, we will be successful. We will be successful in this dunya. We will be successful in our Qabr. And we will be successful Yawm Al Qiyamah. The deen of Allah Azza wa Jal is complete. Al Yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum. Wa atmanta alaykum ni'mati. Wa raditu lakum al Islam deena. Allah Azza wa Jal is making a clear statement that today your deen has been perfected. Today your deen has been made complete. Today I have chosen Islam as my way. This is your success. This is your honor. This is your pride. Islam, not how you understand it, not how I understand it, but Islam, how Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam understood it. Islam, how Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam brought it forward. This is the Islam. Allah Azza wa Jal is saying that I know, meaning from that day till Qiyamah, every trial, every tribulation, every hardship, that this Ummah will ever face, no matter what age, no matter what time you live in, whatever hardships you face, whatever trials and tribulations come your way, look to my deen, look to my way, 
Look to what I brought upon the Sahaba and this is your success. And by Allah, if you look towards anything else, if you look towards anything else, if your gaze shifts from Allah, if your gaze shifts from the Qudra of Allah and falls upon the technologies of men, if your gaze shifts from the wealth of Allah Azzawajal, and falls upon the riches of this dunya, then Allah Himself will disgrace you. Allah Himself will dishonor you. Because the path that He chose was the path of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We left Allah. When will we wake up? When will we understand that La ilaha illallah this is your success. This kalima. La ilaha illallah. What does this mean, my brother? La ilaha means there is no God. There is no deity. There is no might. There is no power. There is nothing. Whether it's their governments, whether it's their technologies, whether it's their armies, whether it's their wealth, whether it's the land, the trees, the sea, the ocean, the animals, the moon, the sun, the stars, be it the angels, be it the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above that, the throne of Allah, the Qursi of Allah, all are dead. Nothing moves, nothing makes, nothing breaks, nothing gives, nothing harms, and nothing benefits. Illallah. La ilaha illallah. This is the kalima. That there's no ilah. There is no might. There is no power. Illallah. Allah Azza wa Jal is in control of everything. Allah is the one you bow down and prostrate to. Allah is the one. Allah Ahad. Allah is the ultimate one. Everything you see around you is garbage. It's nothing. Allah is everything.